Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. The structure of bees honeycomb is an architectural marvel. The hexagon shape maximizes the volume of each cell for the amount of wax used to build them. Combining all those hexagon cells creates one of the strongest structures possible. That same honeycomb structure is being imitated to make stronger, more efficient components for everything from crash helmets and packing crates to furniture and aerospace components. Bees make only one structure, the honeycomb. Bees are known mainly for only one food, honey. There are very few references to bees in the Bible, let alone honeycombs, but the land promised to the Israelites was described as a land flowing with milk and honey. A land with green pastures provide grass for milking cows. Flowers dotting the landscape provide nectar for honeybees. Milk and honey are barometers of a healthy ecosystem. Solomon didn't write about bees, but he did write, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. My child, eat honey, for it is good, and the honeycomb is sweet to the taste. In the same way, wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, you will have a bright future and your hopes will not be cut short. Bees could try and build a honeycomb with cylinders or cubes. It would fall apart. They could try to process corn into corn syrup, but they don't. They are masters at what God created them to do. If they tried to be something they are not, no pun intended, they wouldn't be admired, even imitated for what they do. Father God, rid us of trying to be what we are not. Create gratitude in our hearts for the talents and strengths you've given us. We want to find joy in being who you've made us to be. Whoever we are, may our lives overflow with the sweetness of your grace, your wisdom, and your kindness. In Jesus' name, amen.